It's Friday. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. It's a, it's a, a good day today, and the reason being is because we're going to sheath in the front fender. Um, we've been going on this for quite a bit, you know, making the skeleton of the running boards, the back fender, the front fender. If you do not realize the, the, what's going on here, you have to think about this now. Uh, we are making front fenders, back fenders, running boards, and we are making them from nothing. Well, and we're using exhaust pipe. So when you get thinking about that, so if you went and bought a set of front fenders, how much would it cost you? Bought a set of back fenders, how much would it cost you? Bought a set of running boards, how much would it cost you? And then you have to figure out how to attach them if you were building something. Uh, we've obviously built a hood from scratch. We built the side covers from scratch. Um, basically the whole truck is built from scratch except for the cow and the grill shell. But today we're gonna she this in we're going to get to see start to see the fruits of the labor of what we're doing and get to see what it looks like uh, i've got the brace put in here i've got the round rod put in here now basically i'm just going to take some sheet metal and sheath it in and we're going to get to see what the front fender looks like and uh, i've got a sheet of metal right here uh, we're going to use every bit of it i'm thinking that i would like to have a sheet p1 piece to go up through here but if it does not happen i have no problem with uh, butt welding a piece of metal across there i have no problem doing that whatsoever i have a bracket here for the light that went on the truck originally uh, when we had the light on here the light moved with the wheel i have to take that off because i can't get that sheathing down over top of that it might but i'm going to take that off to get that out of the way i'm going to use that piece uh, to reapply the headlight up front here on this bracket probably no doubt in my mind I've got the other side of the fender braced up just like I got this side braced up So we're really cooking with gas here. We're going to be cooking right along to get the the shape of everything and um, Let's go for it. What I'm going to do first though is is I'm going to let, Let's get the, let's get a couple pieces put on I got to pull the wheel off to get that taken off and we're going to try to sheath the fender in within an hour um, I like to make everything out of Bristol board or cardboard first. I think everybody realizes that, but that's what we're going to do. And the reason being is um, this Bristol board or yeah, this Bristol board is much easier to cut than a piece of metal. So to take the time to um, make this out of Bristol board first is a very good idea, I feel, because it's like I said, it's much easier to cut a piece of Bristol board than it is a piece of metal let's make a front fender we've got the skeleton made now, this is a basic basic i think a basic way to make something from nothing and uh what's going to happen here is is i want to make the fender shape down here and get that right before we get started i want to put the metal on the top of the crown so maybe even in a little bit so the middle of the exhaust pipe um, if you can picture it if you had the, if you were in the middle of the exhaust pipe and you laid your metal on top of it and then you weld it on this side you might be able to grind all the some of the most of the weld off if i get it a little bit on this side of the of the highest part then i can put the weld in on top of the crown and into the metal so there's really a a fine line where you can place the metal on this exhaust pipe to get um, to get a nice grind off if you do not get it in the right spot it's like anything else you're not going to get the right place to grind it off i'm just going to stick this up here like this a little bit and i'm going to come up here i'm going to follow this but i'm going to come up here so i can get this here if you know if you can follow me what i'm trying to say i'm going to go along with the exhaust pipe I'm going to try to get that shape there before I put it onto my metal. Jolene looks amazing today. Jolene looks amazing today. And it's Friday. Alrighty. Trying to get it in there. Not saying that that's exactly nice and straight up there. I'm not saying that's exactly nice and straight up there. Let's do that again. I want to get to come over a little further. Nope. Better bring it down a little bit. Also, when I put a running board on this, 
I want the running board to come up to this piece of metal come down here and when I put the running board then I want the running board on this crown of this pipe piece so we can weld it together so I'm going to end up there's going to be two pieces coming together there and I can and I can run a zip cut along it after if it does not fit exactly right but I'm I'm wanting um, the best fit I can to start with I got it warm in the shop right now that's not a bad fit if we go something like that that's not bad then the running board can come over here right to it and then we can weld them both together at the same time have one weld on it and now I'm going to take and mark we're up the center on that let's mark a little bit on this side and we're going to mark a little bit on this side we're going to try to get a straight line going there So this is where all the, you know, all the labor comes down now is we're just sheathing it. Um, the labor, I guess this is still labor, but um, to get to see what it's going to look, look like, um, we have to sheathe it. So that's basically what we're doing right now. So it's an exciting time is to have it all laid out so we can sheathe it and see what it looks like. And we'll just work our way back. So I'll do this fender. We'll do this one together. This is the very first one. So if there's any mistakes, you get to see it. Everybody likes a mistake once in a while. Makes, makes, makes us all know that we're all human and we're all on the same page. So I basically got that going there good. There's a little place right there where it's straight like this and then it veers off there. I'm gonna have to, um, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to make it straight when I put it onto my piece of metal. I want to thank everybody for coming back. We appreciate it. We really do. I'm going to go there. This one here is not looking bad on this side. I'm going to apply that there. Somehow, it'd be nice to get it. I'm going to take this one off. reason I plucked that one off is because I want to get this laying down it wouldn't give me a true read I also am going to draw another line on it no doubt in my mind to even get a better read when it comes time to cut it okay so I'm saying that we're good here we're gonna lay a piece of metal on here so that's why I'm bringing it back here I could bring it up further but we're gonna lay a piece of metal on here and come around this exhaust pipe for the running board now, there's work to do there yet. We'll do that when it comes time. Uh, I'm saying that that's a straight edge on this side. So I'm just going to run it, run it down some. I know you're thinking that why not just measure out an 8 inch piece and go all the way along it because sometimes it does not work out that way. And it's nice to have a, a good pattern. Fina, do you need to go outdoors? Fina, you need to go outdoors? Oh, 
looks pretty good. Also, I got that metal over there and I got that long piece in the middle. I do not know if I can get it out of this, but I'm going to tape this together and then I will know if I can use it. Put that along there. Put a little piece on the other side. Yeah, even though it seems like a pretty basic uh, piece that we're making, you know, a long straight strip with whatever, I still suggest that I'm making a paper pattern. I still suggest it. I'm gonna guess. I'm a good guesser. Let's see what happens. How does it look with? It'll look different also when it comes time to get the inside piece cut off. He's a guesser, that guy. He's a guesser. I'm going to take and cut a little bit off here. It's, it's good. And I'll use this pattern for the other side, no doubt in my mind. Big things are happening now. We get some, we get uh, get the fenders closed in, get the running boards closed in. I'm just gonna put a piece on the back side. And the reason I want a piece on the back side because just hold it together a little bit better. And if it didn't have a piece. I'm saying that we got a fender top, basically, uh, in shape or in line there. Like I said, if I do not have enough metal to make it out of one piece, I will cut my finger. I will cut it here and then we'll, we'll do that. That's no problem. I should actually draw a line there in case that has to happen. straight that is but not bad I got a ruler right here why not why not it's like pick one pick Alrighty. I'm gonna grab that piece of metal let's pull this bad boy off that there if I have to cut this piece I will I don't want to but I will and that what I mean by that is cut that across there I don't want to but if I will I have to I'll move this Getting ready, got some stuff there ready to take the wheel off. Um, see what happens with that. Got my gloves. No doubt that metal's sharp. We had some we had a zip cut on it before. That stuff gets sharp when you use zip cuts. 
I generally don't like to do that, um, but sometimes, sometimes I do things I don't like. And that's with all of us. I think. That's what would make us human, would it not? Yeah. Cross your fingers and, I don't know, dot your T's and carry the one and all that sort of stuff. See what happens with that long straight piece. See if I can get one piece of this, it would be awesome if I could. Don't, I don't know, I don't know. Gonna do it this way, gonna do it the other way. It would be nice if I can get it all in one piece, that'd be fantastic. Can I flip it? Yeah, just like it seems like that side. She only wants me to flip it, and that's true. You know, that's true. I should actually try that. That might work. It's true. Well, you're not your average cat, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Joanie's not the average cat. She's she's not her average. She's not the average. That's for sure. That worked, baby. That worked. Well done, Jolene. I wasn't going to flip it, but that worked. Uh, it worked. It worked. It worked. Now, awesome, Jojo. It's like she said, I'm not your average Joe. Isn't that right, Jojo? Yeah. Huh? She's not your average Joe. I had a little spot down here I didn't like. Basically, let's get this going here. Now I have to remind myself as I'm marking this, as I'm marking this, that marker line is not the pattern I want. You know, if you know what I'm trying to say, I do not want, if I cut the, leave the marker line, my pattern will be a little bit too big. So I'm, I'm wanting to cut that black line because that's on the outside of the pattern, is it not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I'm telling myself. I'm talking to myself and you at the same time. And if it's a little bit squiggly there, that's okay. We're grinding it and welding it on. I didn't like that part right there. We can straighten that out as we go. Got it. Uh, let's just do this. I'm gonna put a mark here and a mark there. And the reason being is that'll tell me where to bend it. Now I'm gonna have to get another sheet of metal too to get that long piece there, but it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, this is where I'm gonna bend it. Mark that. Uh, I want the roller. Give me the straightest line as possible. Just gonna put that in there like that. I'm gonna straighten that out. So I'll take the inside one. I'll straighten this out. I don't mind going on the inside of that. Straighten things out a little bit. So that Gonna cut that. I'm not gonna cut that. We'll go with the straightest one. Alrighty. I'm gonna cut that. I'll save this for the other side. Oh. This is a happy little pattern. 
flop it over. And then we'll have a pattern for the other side. Awesome. Now, I'm going to cut that out with the plasma cutter. I'll snip it off there with the zip cut. No, I'm going to zip cut it probably, just reason because I don't have to get everything ready and not get it up on a table or anything like that. It's going to be a little bit of noise. If you're, if your other half doesn't like the, the grinder, I suggest turn down the TV just to keep her happy. Uh, happy spouse, happy house. Line with the zip cut, the 
Now, looking at that grinder disc is telling me that that was a $2 cut. $2 for the grinder disc, a $2 cut. It gets expensive if you don't watch yourself. That's why I like to keep it down, because I like to play. Um, I like to play. I like to have all kinds of projects going on. I, I don't, not interested in sinking a whole bunch of money in one project. But uh, that's what can happen when you get going. But I like a lot of projects, obviously. But it costs, no matter, everything you do, two bucks to cut that. Have to remind yourself. I don't even want to remind myself. And as you notice, the boots take the brunt of the work. Did you get that? Because the boots are called brunt. That was good, huh? That was good. That was good. Alrighty. Now. Where I put this on and where I place this is crucial. Got a little bend going on there, I have. Yes, I do. It's crucial because I've got, if you come take a look, I've got a mark on this side and this side right where the bend was. I have a mark there where, where I made the pattern. I'm going to take these off because I'm probably screaming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it on there. I'm going to tack it on once there, and then I'll get it in place, and then start running it and tacking it on. And then we'll go for another piece. So it's going to be a, you know, quite a, quite a weld job. And you look around the shop. There's a weld. There's two welders there and one welder there. We probably have another welder here somewhere, no doubt in my mind. But when we were doing these cars or building these cars and trying to get them done, like this was a two-weeker because we had to catch up from ones where we got behind on a little bit, everybody had to be welding, you know, to get this thing together. Or a few people had to be welding. Somebody had to be welding on the chassis. Somebody had to be welding on the box. Somebody was welding on the front. Somebody was welding on the back. It was, a, it was quite a job. And that's why uh, there was that many welders going on. And that's why it was like that. It's good. Gas is open. Let's tack this bad boy on. I'm going to place it. Got a couple marks here. I'm just going to place it wherever I think. I'm going to do this one. Now. Yeah. I wonder why that fits so good. I know why it fits so good. It's because I made a pattern. I'm going to continue on. Well, this one here. Now that piece, or this piece that we have here, is on. There's no mistaking, it's on. Now the reason I'm going up this far, I put it on there, because that metal's ground, it's not gonna spit on me. I'm gonna take a little grinder and grind off, I should have probably done it first, is grind off the top of the uh, aluminum on the exhaust pipe, but I'll get that. Um, we just wanna get it 
nailed down so you can see what it looks like, basically. Now, I like that not bending that. Uh, I like it not bending it because um, it has given us a little pressure, a little up pressure, which makes it tight. I like that. I like putting, if you haven't noticed, I like putting the panels under pressure. And the reason being is the reason I like putting them under pressure. Here we go, that's good. I'm a little, yeah, I'm all right there, I'm all right. Because they're, they're, what can I say? It keeps a lot of structure when the panels are under pressure. If I make something that fits exactly right and then put it on, then I have a chance to warp it. With it under pressure, uh, I'm thinking that that takes away from a lot of that. There's probably not a lot of pressure with this laying on here flat. But I will put it under pressure as I weld this on. Just think about this for a second. As I'm welding this piece on, when it comes time to weld this on completely, if I weld it and then put the air to it, I am, all, I am shrinking it at the same time. That's basically how I shrink metal is I get something hot and I put the air right to it. It kind of brings it right tight. So as we're welding this, we'll put the air to it and it'll shrink it at the same time. And it'll give it, um, it'll shrink it and it'll make, keep it in place. I'm going to tack that on here. I get a pair of channels and lock that down. And then we get another piece. We got to run it down along the middle here. And then we can weld them both together, hopefully there. That's what I'm thinking. And then you can grind it off really, really nice. I got a piece of metal in the end of my finger. See it? Yep. There's nothing worse than a piece of metal. There you go. Going. Uh, uh, metal splinters work themselves in. Wooden splinters work themselves out. Let's get another piece rocking and rolling. Let's get this fender lined up and get it looking good. We got a little raise up here. That's just a matter of doing this. That's okay. I'm going to have to take this wheel off. So we got two more pieces to make. And then we'll have a fender lined with metal. This bad boy rocking and rolling. this this All right, for reverse I mean roll awesome just gonna check that first but what the heck See, you got three spots of weld on that. Got to cut that off. Going to the two dollar store. 
use that piece. It's a, not a new one, but I'm going to use it. Now that I got the wheel off, I'll be able to drill my hole on my brace on the bottom part that I put on yesterday. I'm going to be able to brace that. Get on there. Now. Uh, Chevy had six bolt, Ford had five back in the day. in. I'm done with that one. Well, to the back and plate. Didn't figure it would hurt it any. Uh, I didn't figure it would hurt it any. We can grind that off so it looks nice. Now I gotta take off the back side. I've got a ratchet there. 5 8 socket and a ratchet. Da -da 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 -da. Put a little crown penetrant on it first. Helped a lot. Go to the other side. Yeah. Awesome. I suppose they weren't put on there that long ago, so. That's the bracket that was made for holding them on. It was just two bolts on the backing plate, on the spindle and the backing plate that held that, and then we tacked it at the top so it would not take off. And as you can see, now I just take the flapper wheel, knock them off on these little spots on the top of the back of the backing plate, and it should be good. Back in order. I have an issue sometimes with over tightening things uh, and I think there's probably a lot of other people other than just me but uh, sometimes that is a a curse is over tightening something it's not necessary but gotta leave, gotta leave the muscle man out of it I guess probably should put have a Lock washer on that. Let's flap the wheel these off. Just flush up here. Now these pieces are going to be capped. Um, they're going to be capped, and they'll cut them off, and then they'll probably be applied uh, on this piece of angle line here somewhere. Um, as and, and as we got, or I got thinking about this yesterday. If Jolene wants to come take a look. Yesterday, I applied the round rod down on the bottom of this angle iron. Um, when I got thinking after I applied it, then when I put my metal on, I, I had to, I couldn't weld my metal on the edge of this angle iron down here. I had to weld it um, on the ins, or could weld it on the top, and then I had to go down through the middle of it to get to the bottom of it. So I snipped it off. I bring it to the top. I have a bigger gap going on here, which does not bother me or do anything uh, that affects anything, but I have a bigger gap down here now. But now I can run my piece of metal from here down to there and weld it all the way along this all the way along this and we're going to make a section here and then we're going to make that triangle to close that in so let's get a paper pattern going for that you want to go out, fina i'm going to let fina the dog out go 
we'll get him, Fina. Get her back away from the door a little bit. She's such in a hurry to get out the door that I jam. She jams herself in the door. All right, let's make a piece for that. Uh, I want a piece of cardboard, Bristol board. I have to thank the person that brought me a bunch of this. And I'm using it. They bring a bunch of, bring a couple of tail lights, dropped them off. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. If they would have brought all the patterns with them, it would have been intact. Now, I'm going to use that straight edge right there. I'm going to tape that on there. Take my gloves off. So I got a piece of going on here. I'm not gonna make this difficult. I'm gonna make it as less difficult as possible. So. There, we're all the way down to the bottom. So now we can get our piece of metal. We got one line there. We got a little bit extra run in there. Mark in my pocket. Stay over there now. I'm going to take a piece of tape and put that on there so it stays. That's good. Good. Yeah. Right there. I'm going to work myself down to the bottom down here. Apply that straight. Now I have to have. What do I have to have? So I'm going to take this off. Nope. No. Now I'm going to take it off. This piece here, I have to knock it on this side. Then I'm going to run the ruler on it. Ruler's right there. I think the outside one was the one I wanted. Seems kosher. Gonna make that line straight if possible. Sure again. Which line to follow? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Get your tackle back. Nope, gonna cut it with that on it just so it gives me a with the straightest line. Put gloves on. That's sharp. Probably should put the closet cutter on for that piece. Awesome. Okay, here we go. There's the piece we want. Just 
Just make sure it's flat. If the if the cardboard is got a bubble in it, it won't give you the right read. B for pattern on that side. I'll have to turn it around probably probably a few times to get it to work. I'm going to stretch out the plasma cutter because uh, two box, two box, two box, two box, two box adds up. Just going to grab this. One of these down these are the wheels i found outside uh, i think they came with a trade that i done and uh just lay it like that and then i can cut it got my air right here plasma cutters right here with gas now we are cooking with gas let's get the air rock and rolling we need a ruler and I've got that right there I need my gloves Now you can picture it. I'm um, getting that all welded on, and then taking that tool there and polishing that up. Woo, baby! It's gonna look good. Not as good as Jolene, but it's gonna look good. Did I tell you Jolene get her hair done? I think I did. She's blonde and beautiful now. She's blonde and beautiful. Always though. Nothing's changed. <laughs> Nothing's changed. to get the slag off.
Now there is a special way that this fits because it is it was made from a pattern. Now, so what I'm going to tell you is. That's good. Now it has to be cut again. I like that right there. I like that on the edge. And we'll get that over a little bit there on the edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark that again because we're too far up on the exhaust to uh, really grind that off nice. I go there. Got to bring it over a little bit on that square shot or not. Angle iron. Stop it. <laughs> Let's try it the other way. Nope. Not it. I want to get it right. Right there is it. So I still want to go in the center of the exhaust pipe on this part. Now that's what I'm doing anywhere else. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to mark it here. Draw a straight line, cut it off. Go again. Yes, Fina. Yes, Fina. You're a good dog. You're a good dog. Now, let's get this marked off. Some lovings from mum now. Now we're going to cut this off. Where did I put that glove? Turn that off so nobody gets hurt. Turn this on. Now, I should have marked that before I did that, but I did not. Now I have to figure out which, which way it goes again. And it goes that way. Gorgeous. You are joining. You're gorgeous. I'm gonna knock that off down there. It'll hold me up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Once it'll hold it for you, 
twice, you've got it in place. All right, see if I got it in place. It's nice, it's nice. See how we got it placed over there, it's nice. You can see how I got it placed on there. So I get a little bit of the weld on each part and then I can grind that off flat and I can really get a nice job done on it. All right, I don't want to, what don't I want to do? I'm gonna come over here. Laying very nice right there. Now, when I grind that off, that well can stay in that in place there. Now, what I want to do is I want to get a, that welder pulled over a little bit. Somehow, I want to get a weld on the bottom of that ram rod so it stays in place. And I'm going to. It's just whether it's going to look nice or not. And it has to look nice or I won't be happy. We'll, we'll just tack it inside here. Good. Get nice pressure on it. I'm going to leave that because I can take when I once I take this all off, then I'll really be able to do a nice job on everything, and uh, I want to make sure I do a nice job on that. When I push that down, I want that ram rod to come to it or whatever, I want to do a nice job there. If I took the side panel off, I'll be able to get to it. I'm just gonna leave it. Let's go for the next piece. What time are we at? 57. 57? All right, I'm gonna leave it as that. I'm gonna grab another piece of Bristol board to show you what's going on from there though. I think you know what I'm going to do, obviously. Now I gotta take a piece of Bristol board and that looks like a car I was doing. The Jaguar. I still got that car. Gonna finish that car someday. Now I'm gonna take this and put this in here. You wanna come take a look? I'm gonna put this in here. And I will end up making a pattern for. Stay on there. <laughs> you get paper to stay where you want to sometime. So I'm going to make a pattern for that. We'll draw up here. We'll draw a straight line on that there. We'll run it all along that um, round rod. And then we'll come along here. We'll trace that down there, and then we'll make the triangle that fills that in. And then if you come take a look from the front, no, we'll save that for later. We'll save that for later. All right, everybody, if you like what's going on, throw a like in. If you like it, share it. And if you're sharing it, you might as well get people to subscribe. Um, we're just building cars and having fun, trying to do it the most practical way possible. Um, right now, we're building fenders, running boards, and everything from scratch. Uh, it's going good. Um, Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. And uh, come back tomorrow, because we'll be here. We'll be doing the exact same thing, fabricating. Have a good one.